Our practice has been and always will be to use the absolute, infallible Word of God preserved in the authorized version of the King James Bible 1611 in the international language of English. How can he be a son of perdition? Shall we open our Bible and minds for what God is saying? And please attention to the word, what the Bible said. And read prayerfully, so that, uh, so then only you will understand what the scripture says. Jesus said, John chapter 6, verse 70, 71. John chapter 6, verse 70, 71. And uh, please read these verses. John chapter 6, verse 17, uh, 70, 71. John chapter 6, verse 70, 71. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve? And one of you is a devil. He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. For he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. See that here, Jesus Christ uh, saying, I chosen twelve. But in that one is devil. One is devil. Here Jesus said about Judas. Here we have clear, uh, uh, clear references. He said about Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot. He, our Lord Jesus Christ said. He was a lost man who had never been saved. And turn to your Bible, John chapter 13. John chapter 13, words 13. Please turn your Bible with me. Please read every scripture. Because every scripture is important to <clears throat> profit for doctrine and spiritual. My dear brethren. Uh, John chapter 13 verse 13 says He called me master and lord and he say well for so I am Here he is Judas Again here Judas Because he was the only disciple who consistently called Jesus Master. So only Judah Iscariot called our Lord Jesus Christ con uh, consistently uh, called Jesus Christ a master. Matthew chapter 26, verse 25. Matthew chapter 26, verse 25, verse 49. And Mark chapter 14, Mark chapter 14, verse 45. Please read these verses. Matthew chapter 25, 6, 25. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take Eat, this is my body. 49, verse 49. And forth, uh, forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hey, Master, and kissed him. See that? And Mark chapter 14, verse 45. Mark chapter 14, verse 45. And so, and as soon as he was come, he goeth straight away to him and said, Master, Master, and kissed him. So, my dear brethren, 
here judas he was the only disciple who who consistently called jesus master judas is a devil judas title son of perdition so his title son of perdition so his title son of perdition john chapter john chapter 17 verse 12 Please read this word, John chapter seventeen, verse twelve. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou go, uh, givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. See that. our lord jesus christ he chosen 12 disciples but in that one one person is devil and he only lost means judas is judas is cariot judas is cariot is a uh, judas is cariot a devil and his title is son of perdition so please keep this thing in your mind judas was a lost man who had never been saved Jesus Christ chosen twelve in the twelve disciple one person lost here our Lord Jesus Christ only saying one person lost among twelve disciples son of perdition is there so it's clear that is he is Judas Iscariot he not only a devil but son of perdition but please read John chapter twelve verse four to six. Turn your Bible, John chapter twelve, verse four to six. I uh, read the scripture, John chapter twelve, verse four to six. Then said one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him. Why was not this ointment sold for three hundred pence? and give it to the poor here you see my dear brethren and again here uh saying verse 6 verse 6 this he said not that he care for the poor but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein see he is a thief my dear brethren he is a thief he is a devil son of perdition and thief and uh, and please read john chapter 13 verse John chapter 13 verse 27 first he is the devil second son of perdition third thief and fourth one John chapter 13 verse 27 and after the so satan entered into him then said jesus unto him that thou doest do quickly see that enter into uh, satan enter into him fourth one a devil the son of perdition the thief and call a uh, satan satan enter into him the son of perdition which is the title of the antichrist do you remember and uh, second thessalonians chapter 2 second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 so son of perdition 
which is the title of the Antichrist. Uh, please turn your Bible, Second Thessalonians chapter uh, two, verse three. Chapter two, verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Exactly there come a falling away. First, first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So here, talking about the Antichrist. Antichrist. Fifth one he called Antichrist. And... Uh, now come to the uh, one interesting thing my dear brethren Judas Iscariot the son of perdition a devil, thief Satan and the Antichrist and he has his own place son of perdition has his own place His own place he had. He had his own place. The uh, Holy Spirit God very clearly mentioned about Judas Iscariot. Uh, you can put it this uh, sequently or uh, uh, sequentially. You need to understand who is the Judas Iscariot. You will get a conc conclusion about him. So, uh, the Holy Spirit God very uh, clearly he mentioned in the scriptures. So, there are many scriptures. I think uh, he is the son of perdition. More than enough these references. So, he is a devil, son of perdition, thief, Satan and Antichrist. And he had his own place. He had. He had his own place. Turn your Bible, Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1, words 18 through 25. Read the scriptures very carefully. Acts chapter 1, 18 through 25, verses. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem in so much as that field is called in their proper tongue Axel Dhamma. That is to say the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms. Let his habitation be desolate. And let no man dwell therein. And his bish, uh, bishprik let another take. Wherefore of these men which have campaigned with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went to went in and out among us beginning from the baptism of Jonah unto that same day that he was taken up from us must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection and they appointed to Joseph called Barsabbas who was surnamed Justus and Matthias and they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave for their lots, and the Lord fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. And verse 25 says, 
Judas by transgression fell that he might go to his own place. So after he died, he went to his own place. Acts chapter 1 verse 18 through 25. We read this verses. Judas Iscariot had his own place. Judas Iscariot went his own place. Peter said he went his own place. Keep in your mind. He went his own place. He he didn't went he he didn't went to uh, he didn't went uh, heaven. He went his own place. Now question is, uh, where is this place? Now the question is, where is this place? The answer is John identified this place. So John the uh, John he identified the Judah Iscariot own place. So now where is the own where is his own place? Please turn your Bible with me. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11. So there uh, we know the Judah's place. Judah is Kariot place. Chapter 9. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11. And they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Do you know this meaning? Revelation chapter 9 verse 11, Abaddon and Apollyon means perdition. Perdition. So this perdition place is bottomless place. bottomless pit bottomless pit so he went his own place Judas Iscariot he went his own place his own place was bottomless pit do you understand because the upper uh, uh, Abaddon and Apollyon means perdition perdition son of perdition so his place was bottomless pit my dear brethren, the son of perdition goes to perdition. Revelation chapter 17 verse 8. Revelation chapter 17 verse 8. Revelation chapter 17 verse 8 says, The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. See that? My dear brethren, the son of perdition goes to perdition and here again you uh, here again the, uh, uh, the Iscariot call sixth one he had his own place this is the sixth and seventh one he call uh, uh, king so he is the king to this bottomless pit. Judah Iscariot, the devil, the son of perdition, thief, Satan, Antichrist, he had his own place and bottomless pit. For bottomless pit, he is a king. And uh, he called here again beast. 8 1. Judah Iscariot is called wind uh, called beast one day this prophecy will <coughs> fulfill my dear brethren so here you need to observe this all these things and one, one can say that heaven is a prepared place john chapter 14 verse 3 for a prepared people first peter chapter uh, first peter first chapter verse 4 and that hell is a prepared place. Matthew chapter 25 verse 41. For a prepared people. Romans chapter 2 verse 5 and 8. But his own place is a reference to the bottomless pit. Bottomless pit. Do you know where is this bottomless pit? Again. Where is this bottomless pit? If you want to know please read. 
Luke chapter 16 they are mentioned one side hell one side Abraham bosom and in between what is there bottomless pit so there his place so this word telling us counterfeit disciple like Jesus Christ he hangs on a tree at the same time the son of perdition hangs on a tree so how the devil imitates our Lord Jesus Christ even in death also see one day he will come out from the bottomless pit for what to perdition so my dear brethren be careful about Satan and why this all things uh, why I am saying because the only the kingdom's version is the pure word of God I want to say this thing there are more than 200 versions are there but that versions doesn't tell or uh, doesn't tell this all things except only AV 1611 this is this is what is there in the Bible but they will hide this this all study in new versions this all things because they will doesn't want to uh, know about himself what he is and what he is doing and what he is going to do and how he is going to destroy it by the Lord Jesus Christ he don't want to uh, he don't want to know the people so that's why they will against the King James Bible and all in new translation Bibles all these verses he corrupted so that's why I said this all things we need to be careful about counterfeit disciple my dear brethren our Lord Jesus Christ he hangs on a tree at the same time son of foundation also he hangs on a tree he imitates our Lord Jesus Christ always always